Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. Why did I choose this old blues? First, of course, they're beautiful, but also, if you um, take 10 uh, blues singers and let them just improvise a blues, just jamming, seven out of 10 would sing exactly these lines. So it's kind of a, the prototype of, of blues. Couldn't believe when I discovered this. Uh, so, and it's easy to play because it's just along the blues scale lines. Wonderful stuff. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Helps my channel to grow. Let's go. Welcome to my help section, everybody. Now let's have a look at this really, um, from all perspective, uh, perspectives, classical blues, 12 bar, but in G, it's a little bit new for the C players, but yeah, you will manage. We have the classical uh, intro, and which is also serves as a turnaround. Um, one and two, t and three, t and four, t and here you please uh, pay attention to the finger setting. Here we go with under setting and over setting. And then from the E7 yeah, to the D7. Yeah, that's very typical. That's the uh, way to approach the dominant again. On two and three. And off we go. One and two. One, sorry again. <laughs> so, and here we already have this classical blues line that every singer, if has, has no idea, um, uh, goes to. Four and one and two and three and four. You see, um, just to make you aware that we are in this piece almost only using the blues scale, which is fantastic. And uh, 
The blue scale from G, let's have a look, is this one. So, the melody will always, uh, you know, uh, circle around the, the blue scale here. No exception, no exception. So that makes it easy to learn. That's why I put it under easy blues. And uh, the melody is just, it's just here in this case, skipping one note of the blue scale, the D flat, okay? One and four and one and two and three and, and it's almost the same coming now. One and two and three and four and one and little foot. So, hey, you don't even have to move your hand. Uh, that's what we always love. If you don't even have to move your hand. And uh, then comes a little fill. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Next line, almost the same. Four and one and two and three and four and one. And now we're reaching out to the G. Is that possible? Mission impossible here. Take the G. A one and two and three and four and one. Hey! Yeah, play the fourth finger here because then you just have to roll down your fingers until to the to the G. Okay. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and two, four and one. Impossible. It's again blue scale notes. See? As a little fill. So one and two and three and two, four and one. And we go to we approach the D and four and no use the third finger here because we're going up. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and re this always repeats identically then second verse we have we start with a break to make this the whole thing a little bit interesting of course when you do this in a session now with the singer you would do uh, possibly two verses and then a break but you want to be entertained here you want the things to happen fast and know that so it's four and now we go to the breaks one and two two and two three and four and one and two and two three you're familiar with uh, triplets by now huh again and one and two two and two three and four and one and two and two three and four and now we rise up and one and two and here look it's just blue scale isn't that fantastic? It's just written for you. One and two and three and four. In the meantime, you have the thumb on the G because it's going down under to the C. Okay? Then one and two, two and two, three and two, four and two, one and two and two, three and four and two. Hey, hey, look at that blue scale notes again. One and two and two, three and four and two, one and two and three and four and one. Oh, okay, cool. now comes a really long blue scale line. Yeah, back on G, one and two and three and two, for figure setting here. If you want to do long lines, if you want to speed up later on, you have to use a technique called oversetting and undersetting. Here, one and two and three and two, four and one and two and two, three and four and octave. We are on, on the fifth now in the second uh, chorus. One and two and three and four and our classical little power grip here. One and two and three and two four and one. 
Atmen. Be fast. Now comes the next break. <laughs> Don't fall asleep here. Play them, try and play them really evenly and maybe give them a little bit of an accent here. Every three. And one, and two, two and two, three, and two, four, and two, one, and two, 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 three, and two, four. Rising up. One, and two, two, and two, three, three, and two, four, and two, one, and two, two, and two, three, and two, four, and... And sorry. Ah, uh, here, what do we have in C? It's, of course, it's also, um, uh, relative to G is blue scale notes, but relative to C, in the chord in which we are, it's the seventh and the ninth. Let's remember that seven, seven isn't a holy number, about nine, I don't know. The nine archangels, I don't know. Okay, seven and nine, anyway, so one and two, two. If you see, we, you can hammer along here, that's fun. Da, 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 one and two, Do the same, uh, hammer away on G now with the fifth and the seventh, you know, that's fun. Da, da, you feel safe here because and it's energy. One and two, two and two, three and four and D7 now, third chorus, we again at D7. Where are we now, where are we now? Ah, yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, one, one and two, two and three and four and one. Now look at this. Yeah, that's our, uh, in my tutorials, if you follow me, two five business, I call it because two five because of finger setting. Yeah. Yeah. Two five here, then just the thumb. Then two five here. It's a very l l popular little lick. Yeah, you can do that a long way up and down just with two five uh, finger setting here. One and two and three and four and one and da, da. and now we reach up. The last theme, we give it some meat with some chili pepper, give it a little bit more, um, well usually I say give it some juice, let's think of something else, let's give it some edge now that's boring let's give it some milk that's original let's give it some milk some mother milk so one and two so we play octaves here but it's the uh um, the the line from the beginning you know uh but a little bit different but one and two and three and four and you know you remember that we left out the um the flat five in the be uh, beginning melody. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So here we have this uh, last chorus, second G bar. We have one and two and three. Yes, for the first time in your life, you play uh, two notes at the same time. I'm kidding. One and two and three. To support, to give the upper melody a little bit of support, so a little bit harsher. We are in the last chorus, we can sound harsher because we're already um, having a look at the applause in the end, you know. It's the last chorus is most important because the last chorus and the end uh, makes people applaud. You can, you can play rubbish in the first chorus. The last chorus got to be good. So one and two and three and four. Okay, and this is the hardest bit for you. So, for you specialists, if you, um, it's not going to be a trill lesson or a tremolo lesson. There is one, and it's very successful. Obviously, I did something right. Um, uh, go a couple of videos back, or just type in um, "hand independence" in the uh, YouTube search. My name, that's Christian Fuchs, and "hand independence," and then you will get. Um, uh, a lesson uh, that's just two weeks old or so um, where I tell, teach you this in detail. If you cannot play this, leave it out for now. 
Just plays this for one and two and three and four and and you come back later when you manage to and two and three and four and one and two. You see? Just a little bit rhythmical uh, difference from the beginning. You know there's a slow replay coming and slow motion afterwards so I'm actually already very generous showing all, all of this to you. Usually I just go to highlights. So one and two and fills. Now we're coming to the and and four and D7 we hit again. It's a, it's a note that loves to be hit when we are on D7. You know the, the chord is actually D major. It's D major underline we're not playing the uh, major third here which, which is very typical in guitar oriented music like blues is that in this kind of blues uh, the the major third would sound strange but the brain kind of um, adds it and so it's not a minor chord it's a d major chord with this minor seven so if we play <coughs> if we then play um the uh, from the scene from G the seven on the D it has a very sp a great sound because the brain has built kind of a clash between the major um, uh, sound that the brain is kind of constructing and the sharp nine. Okay, so much for theory. It sounds it just sounds great. One and two and three and four and now C. Bam. Break. Very typical little gimmick um, for blues. One and. Yeah, that's a break, and you play blues scale. So one and two and three and two. oversetting, oversetting here. Four and two, one and. Instead of the e, f e flat 7 going to D7, because we want to land on the tonic now, on the G. So we go chromatically from A flat 7. Now, you see, A flat, E7 minor 7, and the major third going down to Mama, home, here. Yeah. And then ending a little bit. And this you can play. <coughs> Don't count this. If you're doing the sheet music, if you do uh, read along the sheet music, just play this freely. It's just a bit of blue scale in the end. Now, blue scale, blue scale, or oh, under setting. And then you can play. I allow you for once to play it like this or this. Don't tell anybody and don't show this to your teacher. Okay, that's about it now. Uh, I think it was pretty easy, but still now it's coming the slow replay. <coughs> and I uh, hope you enjoyed this wonderful old regular 12 bar. Bye for now. See you next time.